Marcus Rashford, new contract. They're saying um they're saying that he turned down lucrative offers from the UK and also abroad to obviously sign on at Man United. Like who could have offered him more money than us? No one, bro. I think that that's nonsense, really. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Three hundred. It's not the money. I could see other teams being interested in him, but in terms of the money, I'm unsure. But he signed a new deal, which I'm expecting. I expected him to. I just want him now to either match this season just gone or improve on that season. That's what I need you to do because you're going to get more assistance because we are going to sign a striker of some sort. So hopefully mm-hmm. he can kick on. He's going to be ki- he's going to be important to what anything we do this season in terms of his goals and assists and just overall impact on the team. I don't really rate our attack as too tough. So the new mm-hmm. striker is going to be unproven. Anthony needs to improve. Yeah, Ganacho off the bench, cool. Sancho, last chance saloon pretty much. Diallo's new if he stays. Mm. Bruno, we know about Bruno. Mount, you know, look at his record at Chelsea. Tells you all you need to know about his goals and assists. So, yeah, it's like, yeah, man, hopefully, like I said, I, I need him to have another good season like that, man. I need him to have another good season. Like I, think he'll, I think he'll have a big, I think he'll have a big enough season for us. The thing, so. is, the thing is with Rashi, yeah, it's like, he's probably going to score goals, isn't it? E- even though he's mad streaky, yeah. Like, it's one of them ones where, if you look at the season he had last season, I assume that we're going to be better this season. He's a year older, a year more experienced. So, I I don't see why he... I don't don't think he'll have a better season than last season in terms of goals-wise, but I'm expecting a better performance because he's at the age now where I'm expecting some maturity from him. I don't think he'll ever have that mature game where he doesn't do silly things because I think that how raw he plays yeah is just how he plays in it i don't think he's going to be one of them players that refine their game as they get older i just think he'll always be unpredictable he'll always be inconsistent but it would just be nice just to see a little bit more maturity in it that's what i need more from him i need more mm. um cause i not actually that when i need to would actually go back to check his previous seasons like in terms of numbers gna but i don't remember him too often putting together back-to-back seasons where he was good slash very good or great or whatever so it's kind of like all mm. right you have all the attributes like you i expect us to be better next season so i look at it and go all right boom consistency that's what we need from you this season we need you to stand up again like you did last season and help us go and achieve something as well because if his game and the attributes he has he's always gonna have an impact he's always gonna have an impact like just his just his just his willingness to be a runner you know what i'm saying just mm. his pace causes defense like, all right let's drop off which is naturally going to create space for others he's always going to be a topic of conversation for the opposition from a defensive standpoint in terms of ah shit we don't want to play with the high line because we know that's Rashford's bread and butter is playing against the high a high line. So yeah, with Rashford, I think his unpredictability is the best and the worst. Like I think it is what makes him good, but what also mm. makes him frustrating as well. But I'm just hoping, like you said, he can refine it a little bit. And I'm just looking for more con- like last season, like I say he really impressed me. I need that again though. I need that again, either that level or more. Like I need you to be better now. Come on, man, step up. That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. Like he got 30 in all comps last season, which is a decent output considering we weren't amazing last season, innit? But but bro, like but listen, bruv, if he if he would offer that to man again, obviously you're gonna take that. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not expecting him to get 30 in all comps no. again. Like for me, like if you look at when he scored those goals, he just had a hot streak. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's just all it was. It's not like he was consistently like contributing and scoring goals. It wasn't. I think someone said he went like three months without scoring or something like that and still managed like to get 30 goals, I, like which yeah. is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So I think it was a couple months in there where we did yeah. nah, I hear what you're saying in regards to that is whereas I'm looking at even outside, I need both like goals and assists, yes, but also performances. Because what I liked about Rashford, even when he wasn't providing goals and assists, I remember you playing. I remember mm-hmm. you playing well. I remember you having impact on games. But people yeah. like to try and like separate the two. Like, oh, if you just give me goals and assists, then that's okay that you're being detrimental to the team and not passing the eye test. But then you yep. get players who will pass the eye test, but it's like, if you're an attacking player, also both. Because when we talk about the best players and best teams in the world, they give you both. When we talk about Real Madrid, their attacking players give you both. City, their attacking players give you both. So if we're trying to be at the, and Manchester United in the past, our best mm-hmm. players gave, gave you both in regards. So bring us both. And that's what Rashford did last season. Like I said, I was super impressed. I was shocked. That he, I didn't expect that season from him that he had last season at all. So I was happy yeah. to be wrong on that. And based on level of performance as well, yeah, 
Mm. You wouldn't think he scored that many goals. Because actually, when you think about level of performance, it's mad. Like he wasn't one of the stand- he wasn't one of the standout performer for us last season. When you actually think about in terms of performances, he contributed, bro. Do you know what I mean? And it's like you have to be doing one or the other. You can't be not standing out performance wise and not contributing yes. on the stat sheet. You need to be doing one or the other. Like you can almost overlook a player's lack of overall contribution if they're chipping in with goals, isn't it? The problem is when you've got players like like Anthony, like Sancho, all these things where it's like the performances aren't standing out mad and they're not contributing on the stat sheet either. This is where this is where like it starts to get tense, bruv. Yeah, you're just like you're just there. And it's kind of like, all right, you ain't really doing much of a muchness consistently. Yeah, there's the standout game where you get a goal or you'll get an mm-hmm. assist or you'll or the standout game where you're putting a performance, but it's not enough and then people wonder why we're inconsistent and the reason why Rashford didn't stand out in terms of looking like he scored 30 goals is because defensively that mm-hmm. was where we was our strongest that's why Martinez stands out Casemiro Varane even mm-hmm. Juan Bissaka Luke Shaw when he played centre back type of thing like that's why it was all the defensive players that was the main conversation we were like yeah Martinez Casemiro it was an attack it was Rashford Ganacho off the bench was exciting that was pretty much it there wasn't mm-hmm. really much else to talk about. It was more criticism of Anthony and Sancho and Vekos not being good enough, etc. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. And big up to Red Dev as well. Yeah, 100% big up Red Dev for the super chat. Um, are you thinking we're going to play pretty football? Bro, I, I don't think the manager's building this team to play, play possession football. I really don't. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't. I think he's building this team to just be um, a team that's dangerous in transition and aggressive off the ball in it i think that that's what that's what he wants to do um it's, by the looks of it well it's it's dogged it's rough it's tough it's a team that's not easily going to be rolled over it's a team that's going to run you down so is it going to be liverpool 2.2.0 not exactly but i can see it being similar because what he's bought is runners people mm-hmm. who are dogged when you look at all the players we signed that's what they're like. Malassia's like that. Anthony's like that. Casemiro's like that. Mount's like that. They all, mm. and then you add in the other players around that, your Dalos, your Wambasakas, Rashford will run you down, Ganacho will. It's kind of like, that's the way we're going. And the thing is, I don't have an issue with that style of football. I've said it before. Just go and get the best personnel to deal, to, to, to put that type, to deal with that type of football. And I'm really interested, in, we should now do better away from home with this style. Now he's mm. gone this way, I expect us to be much more robust away from home. And I'm not saying we go away to all the big teams and go away to City, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool and win. I'm saying we go there, one, don't get rolled over, two, put in performance and go get results, even if it's draws. Mm. Even if we go there and get draws. Or even if we go there and we lose, all right, we put up a fight. It's not like when we lost to Arsenal 3-2 and it's kind of like, all right, yeah, they deserve to win even though they won with the last kick of the game. It's like, no, we actually put in a performance. So mm. I see what he's trying to do. I see what he's trying to do. No, 100%. So it's going to be one of them things where, like someone said, it is it is kind of a mixture of possession slash, like, more the Liverpool approach. I think it's but I think it's closer to the Liverpool approach. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he'll lose sleep about not having the ball. Do you no. know what I mean? Like, he doesn't love having the ball the way I thought he would love having the ball, which doesn't make for the most attractive football. But, bro, it's about efficiency um and effectiveness bro and if we can manage to put together a team that can that can actually show what he wants off the pitch on the pitch then bro like i'm here for the ride blood you get me man's just gonna try and enjoy it as much as i can i'm never gonna enjoy it as much as obviously watching my team pop someone off the park but bro listen if every time we counter we look like scoring and we look dangerous then it's fine you know, yeah, like it's, that, and it's fine because that's what Liverpool do. The one thing is Liverpool yeah, have an, abar- um, an embarrassment of riches in the attacking third. We do not have that. Do you know what I mean? They've got players that are a goal threat. Like, they've got five that's attackers. That's why it's so important we improve there. I hear you, I hear you. So we have to improve there. Do you know what I mean? And that's why Anthony Sancho, these guys need to improve their output because if they don't improve their output, yeah, with the way that we're trying to play, uh, they will quickly end up being surplus to requirements, bro. Yeah. 
And I'm all, and I'm all for that. Like if guys to we've seen the manager be cutthroat, and this is what we want him to be cutthroat, be ruthless. And no game mistaken, people doesn't mean we we won't at times play possession based football. There'll be at times where we're playing good stuff and playing good football. Mm-hmm. I think the manager is going more the Liverpool esque uh, way. 